Okay, we are live. At least that's what it says. <laughs> Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me. Let me refresh my screen and make sure that we are going live. Let me look on my phone because technically I am not looking at the screen. Ah, got it. Thumbs up. All right. So we're just going to get right into this. First of all, I am so happy that you guys are here with me. It's a little late. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But I did put on my Facebook who wanted to learn how to very quickly, very easy, um, put SSL certificates on their web. And a couple of you chimed in and said, absolutely, would love to learn how to do this. So I'm just going to do a quick little tutorial, um, webinar, whatever you want to call it, showing you exactly how to do this. Now, first and foremost, um, we're just going to get a little background. Uh, SSL certificates, they create a secure link between a website and your browser. It encrypts the data that passes between the two, preventing hackers from stealing your information. So anytime you go to a website and you're entering in your information, you know, your email, your address, your first and last name, credit card information, that information by default can be seen because the Internet is public. So what the SSL certificate kind of does is it serves as a filter and that filter encrypts, um, encrypts. <laughs> that information so it kind of jumbles and can't be read by the naked eye now I want to make this perfectly clear because um, I've seen kind of in some of the groups that I'm a part of there's a little confusion between SSL certificates and website security so SSL certificates does not prevent your websites from being attacked okay over the years, we've seen many of our social media platforms and our banking systems that have been attacked, taken down, information compromised, blah, blah, blah. This is not to say you don't need an SSL certificate, but it does not take the place of just good old website security. So I just want to make that point before we continued, and we're going to get started. Yay, 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 yay. All right. So I love Let's Encrypt. I love it because it's free. Um, I love it because it's easy. And I see a lot of um, companies using Let's Encrypt in their own website development and um, with them offering services, you will see, you know, and we offer SSL certificates with Let's Encrypt. So just to let you know that this is being used by businesses and companies and you can absolutely use it for yourself. So you can use it for your own website or you can use it for your client's website if you're watching this and you are a developer or a designer. I happen to love the route of using uh, the browser kind of apps to do it. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. I think it was February of this year they started to um, they started to allow wildcard certificates, which I love. And what wildcard certificates do, it is allows you to have all of your subdomains under one certificate. So with Let's Encrypt, if you did it before uh, February, March of this year, you would have to go in and you would have to say, you know, your website dot com www.yourwebsite.com and then you would have to generate a new certificate for each and every one of them if you wanted to use Let's Encrypt. If you were using a paid service, um, a lot of times they automatically allow wildcard. Well, we're doing this for free, ladies and gents. So being that they're now allowing wildcard certificates, I am so excited about this. And um yeah, so the first thing you're going to want to do is let's go to get started. 
and all of this documentation you can read on your own. You can absolutely read it on your own, but I want you to pay, um, pay special attention to this section in here because you are going to look for the ACME clients to choose from. And once you choose your clients, you're going to scroll all the way down to browser. Now, this means that you can use your browser to generate your certificate. I used to use um, something else, but I found that going through my browser was so much easier and it was easier to teach people how to do. So my new favorite <laughs> uh, CSR generating um, fully in browser process is SSL for free. And let's go to that website. This is how it looks. Very clean, very easy to navigate, and the directions are very clear. And they also generate uh, wildcard certificates. So tells you right here. Wildcard certificates allow you to secure a domain and any subdomain under that domain. It also gives you uh, directions as to how to generate that um, those domains. So if you're just doing uh, www.yourwebsite.com, what you're just going to put here is, well, not www, let me take that away. You're just going to put mywebsite.com, okay? If you want to include the www and your mywebsite.com, you would do mywebsite.com, but you would also do dot mywebsite.com. Now, what that does and why you would put the dot um, in front, because it says anything before my domain, I want to include that as well. And that's why we do it that way. Um, the little star here, I know the, um, <coughs> sorry, people have a bit of a cold, but the little asterisk here is basically saying you want to include it all. So this absolutely has to go in the beginning, if you want to include everything that's going to be under that domain. So if you have um, a subdomain, if you have subfolders, if you have, um, again, the www prefix, you want those to be included in this certificate. Now, I have a sample website that I'm actually kind of frustrated with. I I try now and I'm actually um, doing a review on free hosting because I get a lot of students who ask about free hosting. And I know this is kind of like a side conversation. So I went on and I'm doing research on free hosting. And I can tell you right now, there's some that I'm just absolutely not happy with. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm going to do another video for web development students and also my VA students who are looking for free hosting and good hosting that's cost effective and, um, sorry guys, <laughs> it's cost effective and just kind of keep the um, cost down. So I'm gonna do a video on that, but um, my website crashed on a free host that I was using. So that was a little frustrating. However, the show must go on and I'm still going to show you how to generate it using, um, using the website. So my website, I am going to do a star and it is build, launch, grow, dot X, Y, Z space and I'm going to do dot build launch grow if I can spell <laughs> dot x y z because I want it to um, do everything up under this domain and I want to do everything under the domain if there's a prefix www or subdomain so we are going to create the certificate 
and we come to this part. Now, I am not going to um, manually uh, verify. I'm going to verify through my DNS settings. And depending on what your hosting is, um, you may need some, you know, help finding your DNS settings under your domain. Um, if you can tell me what you're hosting in after the video, if you're having trouble finding it, I'll be glad to help you with it. But I am going to go. Uh oh. Am I? Let me log out. Sorry, guys, I was actually logged in, and that is why. So let me go here. And grow dot XYZ. I'm going to make this just a little small. I made it bigger so you guys can see. One of the things I do if I don't feel like I have copied uh, this correctly, I will go ahead and copy this. See, I actually did it wrong. I actually did it backwards. <laughs> so it's dot XYZ. I'm not sure if it actually matters, but just for the sake of the video, I don't want any hiccups. So it's uh, star dot example dot org example dot org. Okay, we're creating a wow card. Let's create this certificate. And yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now that we have done that, it's asking me to verify. This is where we go into our DNS settings. These are the two text files. Uh, the txt files that we are going to um, we are going to insert. So I actually have, I think I have my DNS files for this particular host. You're going to find your DNS files under your domain. So I'm going to go here. If I scroll down. There we go. It's going to ask me to add a new. And again, the, the um, instructions are very, very clear. So it's telling me to add a record, a TXT record below in the DNS files. It's saying to add here. Here's the host name. So this right here is the host name. I am going to copy this. And I am going to paste it here where it says host. If I go back, I can close this one. I'm going to look at the value. Uh, let, let me make sure I got the value. And let's go back here. And let's paste the value. Now with this particular host, they don't allow me to do under half an hour. But you want to change this to the minimum that you can possibly put it. On my regular hosting, I can actually do a little less than half an hour. So here's the second record. We're going to just paste this exact same thing. We're going to copy this. Make sure you don't grab the spaces. Sometimes it happens when we co um, copy and paste things. We grab the spaces. We don't want that. We're going to go to the value. And we're going to save. And there we go. Now, the way that we verify this, it tells you here. And you're just going to select that. And if we verify that, the two values I entered here will show up here. And they actually have. 
So now that I have confirmed that, I am going to download my certificate. Give you guys a little bit of elevator music. <laughs> okay. So you can create an account. I suggest that you create an account. I am not going to log into my account for this particular certificate, or maybe I will. Huh. Let me go ahead and log in. I do want to log in because I want to show you guys how to um, revoke and renew a certificate if need be. So here's the certificate. Here's the private key. Here's the CA bundle. All of these things you're going to need. I'm going to show you exactly where to put them. So in your hosting, you should see somewhere, especially if you're using cPanel. So I'm going to assume that you're using cPanel. Something that says like SSL, um, manage your SSL, blah, blah, blah. Pretty much so it all looks the same. Again, if you're having problems locating this particular part, um, shoot me a message or shoot me an email um, at alea.buildlaunchgrow.business and alea at buildlaunchgrow.business and I will be more than happy to uh, help you. So we're going to select our domain, which is buildlaunchgrow.xyz. And again, very easy. We're just going to copy and paste this we can get rid of. The value, this is my private key. And just in case the shortcut is control A, if you're wondering what I am selecting. Okay, private key. And a CA bundle. Now, before I hit install, I actually want to show you guys the website. Built Launch Grow, as you can see right now, this connection is not secure. If I am to put the HTTPS in front of it, you're still going to get this. Your connection um, is not private, blah, blah, blah. So right now it is not secure. What I am going to do is I'm going to install this. And yay! So your SSL certificate has been installed successfully. What that means is now, if I go here, okay, it's not redirecting yet, but if I refresh this, there we go, it is now secure. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it, so let me move this a little bit so you guys can see that is secure. There we go. So now you guys should see the certificate is secure as where before it was just not showing that it's secure. If I actually refresh this, um, not putting the HTTPS, it was showing that the connection was not secure before because they didn't move it down. Um, when I entered the HTTPS, it showed, gave me that ugly window we get, this uh, website is not secure, would you like to be redirected to a more secure connection? And once I hit and entered into our SSL certificate, now our website is secure. Ladies and gentlemen, it is that easy, but we are not done. So there's two things. The first thing is when I go to build, launch, grow, dot xyz it does not redirect to the secure uh, website so i'm actually going to 
look at some of the comments and see what you guys are saying before I enter into this part. See if there's any questions. I'm just looking at the comments for a moment. And for some reason, I can't. Oh. oh. All right. Awesome. All right. So no comments as of yet. If you have questions, again, shoot me a quick message. That would be awesome. Okay. Yes. Yes. That's all you should see. Yep. That's all you should see. Because what's happening right now, Cindy, so the SSL certificate is installed. It's actually installed. And if someone was to go to um, HTTPS, you know, colon, for sense or effect, your website, um, dot com, they would go there. However, many people don't go through the problem, that trouble <laughs> of typing the HTTP or the HTTPS. What they're going to put is builtlaunchgrow.xyz. And what we want now is when they enter that, we want it to automatically be redirected to your secure site. So there's two ways to do that. The first way is for all of my WordPress um, people, which I absolutely love WordPress. It is my platform of choice. We have it easy because it's one of my favorite plugins to do this. Now, I did have my website uh, WordPress ready, but something happened. The database got a little corrupted. So unfortunately, um, I'm probably going to do this video again and show you how to install that uh, specific plugin. But I'm going to show you which one it is. Press. So really simple SSL is a plugin that does all of the work for you. So you don't have to um, worry about doing the HT access, which I'm going to show you how to do um, for those people who are building your website from scratch. But with this, it does it for, for you. The directions are very self-explanatory. You pretty much so install the plugin. And after you install it, you um, enable it. And it's going to ask you, do you want to redirect all of your things to a secure, uh, your secure site, you're going to select yes. But not only does it do that, all of your files, your files that would have HTTP on them, it's going to um, unmix them. Is that the word? <laughs> I don't know if it's unmix them, but it's going to make it sure that there's no conflict between those files, meaning if you have something pointing to HTTP and it's supposed to be pointing to HTTPS, we know that things like that can break. Just a side note also, if you are a web developer and you are developing, um, building a website from scratch, whether you're using a CMS like WordPress or you are like really building from scratch, I suggest that you do all of this before you start building your site or else your site is going to break because once you get so into coding and files and, um, you know, especially when you're looking at images and things and da da da, it's just good practice to do this first and then start coding and building your site and whatever, just to kind of keep down the confusion. So everything points um, to the right directory. The second way to do it is through our H, uh, HT access. And I'm actually going to, give me one second, I'm gonna pull up that code for you guys so we can get that code. I'm gonna paste it into the description so you guys can have it. Now, 
this is how we're going to do it today because my WordPress is not up. So let me just pull that code for you really, really, really fast. And let's see. So, of course, um, once again, if you are not using WordPress, this is how you are going to want to do things. And I can't remember who it was. There was someone today who um, who asked how was I going to cover how to um, do the uh, HT access, the dot HT access file. And I hope that person is watching because I can't remember who it was. <laughs> But that's okay. All right, so let's go back. And we are back on iFile. We're back here. So let's go into our hosting. We're gonna go into our file manager because that's where this file is. And we're gonna go here. And in our public underscore HTML, which is where most Yeah, awesome. Let me type that out to you. Cindy, if you can tell Harold that I will be adding um I'll make sure that he is able to view uh, this um, website. I'll get a copy that he can actually use um, as soon as this live is over. So um, most of the time in any web hosting, if you're looking into your file manager, you're going to build your website under the public underscore HTML directory. And I don't see the file, so I'm actually going to make this file. We're going to create it. And there we go. So we have our .htaccess file. We are going to edit this file. And the code that you are going to drop in Um, again, is this code here. And what I am going to do is I am going to paste this code for you guys. This is a redirect code. This is a 301 code that's going to redirect all your traffic from just if someone was to put yourwebsite.com or www.yourwebsite.com, it's going to automatically redirect it. So uh, it always points to your secure site. So let's save this. Save it again. I always save things twice. Don't know why. I guess it's a habit. So remember we had, uh, if we just went to build, launch, grow. X, Y, Z. It didn't redirect on its own. It stayed HTTP. So if I do this now, booyah, it automatically redirects. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm probably more than likely going to do this video again because I really want to show my... Uh, developers who use WordPress, how to use that plugin. But I also um, want to get some other points, but I'm going to leave this video up for uh, the time being. Again, guys, thank you for being here with me. I'm going to paste that redirect code uh, in the description. And uh, yeah.
So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Leave me a Facebook message. Leave me an email. My email again is alaya.buildlaunchgrow. Not alaya. Why do I keep saying alaya? Alaya at <laughs> buildlaunchgrow.business. Not dot com, but dot business. Also, you can give this a thumbs up. Make sure you share this video because I am going to uh, start making videos. I'm going to start making these little tutorials. If you are online service provider or you are a virtual assistant which is online service provider web developers um web strategists whatever it is you do if you are a digital entrepreneur i have so much content that i look forward to just putting out so if you guys have ideas definitely give ideas like this page um join the group want to let you guys know so the build um launch grow group is open for the first 100 people so for the first 100 people you can get in the group you can get all of the goodies that everyone else can't get if you are the first 100 without having to be a member of our community so you can be a part of our Facebook group without having been a part of our community. After the first 100 get in, that group will be closed to community members only. So tell your friends, if you like this video, there's going to be a lot more. There's going to be one-on-ones. There's going to be courses. We have so much going on. Cindy, do we not have so much going on? Yes, if you are just cute. <laughs> You can get in. So if you know anyone who is thinking of starting a business or someone who is already doing and their business is digital, meaning they work online, let them know about us and let them know about the awesome things that we are doing. I just saved you guys a bunch of money and I'm not even, I'm not even going to say Geico. <laughs> I just saved you a bunch of money. Um, on your SSL certificate. And yes, it is easy to install. So rewind this, catch the replay. Um, if you need help, send me a message and have a wonderful evening, guys, and happy building. Bye.